I'm putting in a uh, just a muskrat set. So I have a muskrat toilet here. And they just come up and they just revisit these toilet sites. Um, so we've been seeing muskrats swimming around in here. And they'll come up and revisit it. And uh, so if we, we've been putting, muskrats aren't too trap shy. So we've been putting traps right on top of it. And we've been just anchoring to these reeds. So I'm just going to go around here, grab a bunch of them. And then I make a little hook for my finger there and then pull her tight as tight as I can twist it around and that's all you got to do for a muskrat to hold them we're just kind of going a little overboard in case you were to catch a goose or a duck it doesn't take off with the trap so I'm just going to set this little number one Adjust it, and then I'm just gonna splash this up, wet it down a little bit, and then just, a lot of times they've been kind of uneven, so I've been just taking my hatchet out, and just kind of chopping them up a bit to break them up, just like that. That just allows you to bed your trap on it, so that if he walks up and touches this lip he doesn't knock the trap off and then evades getting caught but i just run this wire out to the deep water and this this gets out a foot and a half and then way deeper so he's gonna have no problem going under so that's pretty much it just toilet set for muskrat it's pretty simple when you guys are rat trapping and you're back in ponds like i am here you got all these cattails and there'll be areas on the cattails where the rats are climbing up, but always be peering in, peering in towards the bank. Because something like this, it's just a piece of log. Anything that's floating there, they like to climb up on to, to defecate and then to clean themselves. So this, when I came up to it, all these reeds were over it like this. So, you know, always kind of be pushing in and looking because that right there, if I hadn't looked, would have been a missed set and they're climbing up on this thing all the time all that is mashed down rat turds that's mashed down rat turds that's fresh rat turds so anything like that and especially because it's back here under the cover it's a good spot because the rats feel a lot safer for climbing up on they're not out in the open where you know owls and hawks and Literally anything that eats anything will eat a rat. So, you know, it's, um, keep your eyes open for stuff like that. So I'll just set this trap right there on that log. They'll climb up, get their foot in it, and they're done. And that's it. All right. This is the world's sexiest muskrat trap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Number one stop law. And so we're do is kind of built a little feed bed there, and uh, if this was not a stop loss, we definitely would want to stake it out deep for a drowner. But this will hold him here. We just caught we just caught a muskrat in this. You can see where he'd been clawing here. You see a muskrat dig up there, and uh, put a little bit of scent muskrat gland lure on that stick there. Always put a little carrot to make it extra sexy. Just add muskrats. Perfect. One right here. Guys, when you're setting these muskrat traps on these turd piles, I mean, you can do it without anything else, just the trap on the turd pile. But if you throw some carrots on up here, they'll smell them and see them, and it kind of antagonizes them to get up on this. Check it out. You solid? Yeah, that's solid. There's this trick when it comes to trapping, if you want to get a lot of fur. It's called the art of gang setting. And gang setting is when you're putting more than one trap out, you know, two, three, four, five. And um, in this area, we have a kind of a creek backwater that's connected two ponds over there and back that way. And then this is a crossover that leads to another pond. 
And these areas are so stinking hot for everything. We've got a muskrat set there because there's a whole bunch of muskrat sign there. We've got another muskrat set right there because there's a ton of muskrat sign of them working here. Then they'll come up this crossover. There's a crossover set we put in right there. Grab my bag real quick. And then we have another muskrat set here. And then right over there next to that's a, a mink set. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five sets right here in this one crossover just because there's so much sign. So when you guys find things like this, everything that's trying to go in between ponds, which they do all the time, especially in the spring because they're breeding and feeding coming out of winter, there's going to be so much fur moving here. So whenever you find good travel pathways like that, look for all the sign you can because you'll find more than one spot to set a trap. Well, I have two things here. <clears throat> there is this massive muskrat crapper right here that I'm going to put this number one long spring on. And we have a bank den right here that comes out. So I'm going to put a 110 right there. So I'll get any that are climbing up and any that are coming in and out of their bank den. Take it, and I can see, see it's shallow right there, so they're bending on out and then swimming out this way. So I can just take it, shove it right on down in, boom, that's it. I don't have to do no stakes off to the side or anything like that. Now I am going to put one stick right here in the middle so they don't want to kitty corner around but that way it just makes putting these one tens in so stinking fast that's it all wire off my 110 and move on to the next spot well Nathan <coughs> yesterday he had a muskrat at this set right here there's a feed bed up underneath that hollowed out tree and uh the bank of the tree and looks like he's got another one that is I mean that's two rats in less than a day off this spot so that's pretty good yep. nice job Nate looks like I got a rat right here so there's a 120 that I sent in a pitch point pinch point you guys these pinch points where the creek or dike or whatever you have you just merge into one spot they are killer for both rats and mink rats use them for moving and the mink use them for chasing the rats so whenever you see a pinch point throw a connie in there 110 120 don't matter but i mean that thing got wrecked so that's a nice size rat too so yeah i'll get him reset and show you guys what that looks like I'm resetting the 120 that I got the rat in, in this pinch point. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down right here, right in the center of that pinch point, shove those springs down in. Now most of the time, you wanna take sticks and shove them in each side. Because I got this mud, it acts as a stabilizer for my 110, I mean my 120. Then all I'm gonna do, take a little bit of grass, and just put it up on the sides right here. Kind of blend in the outline of the trap. And also, when rats and mink are coming down, they see that that is their mode of travel right through the, the 120. So that's all I do. It's a quick, easy set, and it catches fur surprisingly well. Anything that travels this, this little drainage ditch you get whacked well I just got this gorgeous muskrat off a set that I just made well I made yesterday I'm gonna show you guys the remake the only thing about this set is that they are alive when you come to them because there's no spot to drown them as you can see the shallowest water I mean the deepest water is I don't know eight to ten feet out there so what I use is a number two and that way 
it catches really high up on their leg and they don't ring off. And uh, this set is in a muskrat turd house or turd village or it's on a muskrat crapper. Just set it right there. And um, they're coming out of the water or crossing over from another pond, climbing right up on it, boom, get them. So just be wary. If you do do sets like this, use a stop loss or like a number two that grabs them really high and then you won't lose them. I don't know how it happened, but somehow Ben drowned this rat in an inch of water. Nice catch though. Awesome. Well, looks like we got a live rat here. Now, looks like he tore up this whole set, so I'm just gonna lay it right here. Muskrats wanna climb up in there, and mink will even wanna check that out, so. Oh yeah, look at that catch. Right up behind the knee. Oh yeah, awesome. Put him in, good to go, I'll remake it. Sometimes I'll get so caught up in catching fur, I don't stop to just look at this world. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous in the morning. The birds are chirping, the geese and ducks are flying, this pond with the sunrise gleaming off of it. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. Kitchen fur, as fun as it is, is just the bonus side. That's it. So here we go, guys. There's a rat. There was a toilet right there, but it was high up and I didn't want to set on it. So I just did a, a little feed set. I put some carrots back in, put the trap in the water right in front. They come in to get the carrots. Get the trap, pop off. Most of the time they drown. This guy kind of tangled up in the weeds, so he didn't, but just a jump trap. Caught by the toes, not an awesome catch in terms of word placement, but I'll take it any day of the week. So guys, these toilet sets, here you can see the rat poop. These are some of my favorite sets. They're quick, they're easy. You just slap them on top and they catch you fur. I mean, fast, easy, simple catches fur. That's what you want in trapping. So, try it out, see what you think. Decent little pond rat. Yeah, came up right there. Trap was sitting there. Oh man. Nathan got me. This drug my thing with the Holy stakes up. Cow. Oh boy. You see that? Oh, caught a muskrat and a mink came along and got him. Ben's beautiful jumbo rat. Yeah. It's a monster. It could feed a family for a week. It could. Ten. Mink came along. Ooh. That was a nice sized rat too, man. Too bad. Just got him on the back of the head. Just killed him. That was it. Didn't even eat anything. That's a mink for you. All right, we're out here trapping the palms, looking for pond rats. <laughs> Putting out number one right here. That. Oh yeah. Well, forgot in the beaver set, but we'll take it. How's that looking? Oh, see. see, that's the trap that caught me yesterday. Yeah, we'll reset that one up. 
Oh, there's a rat. <laughs> Muskrat right here. There she be. What's going on here? What? You never see a misfired. Oh, Another rat here. Caught him by the pond. Well, by the dam. Gonna make a reset and keep going. What you got going on over there? Got a rat in the cross carrot set. Oh, I'm going down. <sighs> I'm gonna throw him onto the shore. The birds will cross carrot set. So I'm gonna call it from now on. Patented. Patented. That's funny, you died right there. That's crazy. Let me see how you, how you did this. So, I've been checking my traps along the bank. Yes. This is known as the virtual cross carrot trap. Well, walk the it got destroyed earlier, but what I'll do is dig out a little section right here to put the old trap in like this. Put a carrot on one side and the other. And that is the virtual cross carrot set. Yeah. Set that trap. Smoked the rat earlier today, so let's see. Oh, There's been a couple times where I really thought I was going in the drain. Oh, just like that. Good. Can't see my trap. Yeah, I got one. We nice. got one right here. Well, the trap is gone. Almighty live, one rat a year. Oh yeah. I see the I wire see down foot. there. I What's see going on? Foot. Hold on, Nate. Let me underwater this. Small river rat right there. We'll for the river, she's alright. I'll take it. Hell yeah. Lift her up for me, Nate. Good catch on her. She's dead. Oh, she's done. Good job, Nate. Good old river rat. Nate just put the first rat set in. I'm gonna put the second one in. Here, just a little number one. The wire up. Real fast like this. Take my trap. We got a mound right here that they've been sitting on. So I'm gonna wire off back here. Like this. Like that, that's all it takes. So today I'm doing a rat set, and all I got here is number one coil spring, it's a bridger, wired off to a bunch of reeds, really nice and tight. Just in case you have any ducks in your area, make sure you wire off nice and tight. Um, and right here you can see there is a crap ton of rat turds all up in this area. They're coming up on here, they're pooping while they're grooming themselves, and they're feeding. So, you just have your trap, it's got a nice hefty chain on it, nice and heavy, wired off there. Set your trap. Setting with gloves on can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Got it set. Move my pan down. There we go. That's it, they'll climb up, get caught, jump off, and uh, drown themselves, so. <laughs> Ooh, both nice feet. Cat. He didn't go far. 
Nope. Right on toilet set. Perfect. What are we ah. looking at? Rat? Yep. You see that thing, Nate? Good set, man. Oh, yeah. Bring her over here. Those nails help them, help them keep her. Pretty small rat, but we'll take it. We'll take her. George, you got the birthday rat. Yep. Actually, you get a picture of me and my birthday yeah, rat. Yeah, I get a picture of your... We got her. Got a rat right here. A little crossover set. Pretty good sized rat for the river. Yeah. Go reset her right here. Just started working down. Well, coming up to my mink, one of my mink sets, and got something in it. Muskrat. Well, not a mink, but uh, we'll take it. It's the last day, so better than nothing. Another muskrat. Nice. Yeah, we'll take her though. 